I'm going to use this block to make this small edition of linoleum prints. This is how it's done. Check it out. First thing I'm going to do is hit the block with a sanding sponge to remove any burrs or weird stuff off of the uh, surface of the block. Okay, it's time for broke printmaker tip number one. Use free samples of ink whenever possible. I got this tube of ink free with the brayer I'm using. The ink and the brayer are both made by Speedball. The color is called Super Graphic Black by Bill Fick. This stuff is the best for printing on paper. It's not great for fabric, but they got other good stuff for that. It's an oil-based ink, but it cleans up with soap and water. That's why it's not great on fabric, but it's so much easier to deal with. Just a little bit of window cleaner, spray, soap and water, and it cleans right up. And also it dries much faster than traditional oil-based inks, and that's why it's my personal favorite. So I know it looks like I'm spending forever inking this block up, but the first time that you ink a block up, it takes a lot more ink, especially uh, when you have this much black space on the block like I do. So the first time that you get that you ink it up, it's gonna take the most ink. And regardless of how much ink you put, that first print usually turns out a little bit faded, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Yeah, so you'll notice I didn't really use any kind of registration process on this particular print. The block was like 7 by 10 and the paper was pre-cut and it was already 9 by 12. So it fit really nicely on the paper. And this is the first time I've used one of these type of barons. Kind of like it, works pretty well. Um, here in a little bit you'll see me switching back and forth to a traditional Chinese type baron back and forth between this one and that um, I kind of like them both I was just experimenting to see which one I preferred okay it's time for broke printmaker tip number two if you don't have anything to roll your ink out on, you can do what I did in this case and grab an 11 by 14 picture frame at Dollar Tree and take the glass out of it. It worked great because I have a canvas drop cloth underneath it so it didn't shift around very much. But be careful, it is really thin, but it cleaned up really easily and you can put it back in the plastic frame to use again. And if it breaks, who cares? It only costs a buck.
Okay, so I'm doing a small edition of four prints. After that second print, I noticed that I had gotten some ink onto the drop cloth. And when I was burnishing the paper, um, I got some ink smudge transferred from the drop cloth back onto the paper in the white border area. So in order to uh, prevent that from happening again, you might have noticed I put some white paper underneath the block so it's easier for me to tell when I've gone off the rails and put a bunch of ink someplace where it doesn't go. So I think this is a good time to tell you if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell so you'll be notified when I publish any new videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, please watch till the end and let me know if you think that this print looks like me.